guys hello guys welcome once again to my channel yes yeah, so my people your favorite mama is back again to just you guys this time around it's not something um that one should be happy about it's not something funny guys a lady just on her wedding day guys that is the gist for today i don't know if you've heard of this sandra chineye obioha who just on her wedding year a 22 year old lady guys what is going on what is going on when every parent out there are just praying for their children to you know grow up after growing up you know the the stress every parent goes through resting a child the expectation of that parent is that this child will grow up you know get married and now we'll look at um her home condition and also see where he or she can support the family you know that is always the prayer just like my dad will say no man lives with the parents forever you have to grow up and you know expand your own life expand your generation leave your usual comfort zone and go out there and make your own money that is the expectation of every parent and at the end of the day be able to make your parents your top priority you know bring back that money and tell them mama papa this is the money i have made today i want you to use this and uh, they will feel happy that is just the expectation of every parent out there but the situation whereby this child the parent don't struggle finish from year one from the day where this became born till when she can't go rich to come marry settle down can't take care of the parent then we go come they hear this kind of sad news guys this is not something funny this is not something that um promotes the uh you know the well-being of a family um say things guys this honestly this is not something funny i know most times it might be from jealous um you know jealousy and um wicked generations that we dwell in because all of us know say this world bad last last you know need person tell you say this world is corrupt this world is wicked you just know on your own that you have to be cautious of the things you do because this generation is evil guys and uh this lady now the family don't they happy say oh my picking go don't marry you my picking don't settle down my picking don't find the man of a dream he go bring happiness come my house maybe people have been mocking you and be like eh, now nah, you know see your mates their children don't marry your own still day your house and finally this lady has been able a 22 year old lady guys i'm not joking this is trending right now 22 year old lady sandra chinney honestly just like that the way young people they die these days nobody even the old ones where we could be like oh they don't live oh they don't live ah, t -t. it is you know it is age and stuff like that but now we are losing the young ones the ones that are even supposed to bring up the generation the ones that are even supposed to rise up and take over nigeria but we are now losing them what is going on guys on the particular day the d day guys this is not something we'll be say after all maybe during the preparation and the knocking of door the this one this one the d day when everything supposed they step will say yes this lady is officially married she is now gone guys it is not funny you need to see the pictures yourself the way people were crying the way people they carry her imagine say something of celebration turned to a morning thing something that people were supposed to dance around supposed to be the talk of the whole world do you know how much that guy has spent on that lady's head do you know how that guy has gone far and wide just to invite friends for that particular day and people are coming now to mock you think such a story will ever leave people's mouth definitely you always see a person they talk to you more i know if you forget the kind of wedding where i go that day the wife go that wedding go turn morning guys this is not funny this is not funny at all honestly because i believe we all should by now be you know matured enough to take things step by step you see things like this different opinion will come to your different thinkings will come to your some people will might say eh, the family members maybe they be no good their village go do this one go do that one that is why they have to do this or maybe the husband the mother was actually owing uh, something in the village or the father was owing the mother's diary in the village and stuff like that guys a lot of story will come out i don't know what is going on but that does not guarantee that does not give someone the permission to you know take someone's life it's better you come out plainly and tell this person madam go and pay so 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 thing that you're owing or sir go and pay so so thing so that they can free your children when you kill these ones like this that are supposed to come up and take care of us and take care of the whole family jealousy wickedness enviness just make people kill people like that guys it is not funny or me i'm not liking this thing i don't know anybody out there that will be liking this particular thing because i know the stress before a man say he won't marry I know they talk of the marry where they go see you for inside KK or inside car. They go just buy you small ice cream, carry you go as before you know you don't born first speaking, give the man you can't stay. They never see your parent. That is not marriage. I'm talking about real marriage that the guy has done everything and now go for the white wedding because the lady on the white wedding day. 
now go for the white wedding and now no waiting that guy don't put in place the food the drinks the everything the decoration you just need to see the place whole place just seems scattered guys it is so annoying before we continue before i tell you one story let's do the usual exercise guys click on the bell subscribe like and comment on this video and please do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever i drop a new video you will be the first to see it. my people we are actually talking about a lady who just on her wedding day yes so after all the preparation where the husband don't put for place after all the friends where they don't invite say ah tomorrow na my marriage or tomorrow na my wedding or everybody don't come settle down the lady just buy like that with wedding gown guys this is not funny this is so so annoying i know how the mother will feel i know how the father will feel i know how the relatives will feel guys you know something you just wake up and be telling your friend the siblings will be like yes yeah, so tomorrow is my sister's wedding please you guys should come oh please come with gifts and stuff like that and they are coming to meet something like this it is not funny it is so annoying even me when no relates to the people but just that i just want to come out and inform you guys of the latest i have to come and say this this is very very annoying honestly like i said i was going to tell you a story there was this um video i actually met some days back about a lady who fainted i won't even better say her fence she fent who fainted on her you know traditional marriage on her way to give the husband the wine of which they gave to her they say show me your husband she just carried the drink to go show the man now they she just fall back for in front of the husband it was it seems funny at first but by the time people noticed that this lady no be joke or they had to rush her thankfully to god she was saved because i don't know what happened i don't know what was the plan of the devil but the lady was saved and another story that i actually want to tell you is about a lady you know most times i believe in secrecy guys i believe in silence do your things in silence until the d-day that is when everybody will be surprised nobody you won't buy car uh, on monday you start from this week and uh, tuesday they shout everybody i want to buy a new car by next week gonna go see me with benz and all those things people nobody everybody when they smile with you be your friend guys i believe in secrecy when you want to do something quietly do your thing make person just shock see ah, ah this lady be don't marry there was a lady that wanted to marry and she started shouting all over the world as if she's the first person to get married i am getting married though i am getting married my dear on their way to their uh to the village for the old marriage stuff the day she was supposed to do the wedding she had to travel very early in the morning after coming back to get some things she went to the um, venue on a wet day she just died instantly the husband was saved guys there are things we need to keep quiet and just do it codedly may person just wake up say ah, ah my dear you be done yes so i be done no vex i be no plenty things been there in my mind i know if you invite you that are how things are supposed to be done and not just rushing and you know rattling your mouth everywhere telling everybody that you're going to achieve this you're going to achieve that guys i am not just happy about this situation but whatever it is god knows best that is always the case god knows best we cannot question his action we cannot question him so whoever their hand or whether a person their hand for this you know or nobody or god knows but one thing i tell people is that nobody they live for this earth you see this planet earth none of us go live forever we go still by last last everybody go by because this life now 50 50 guys husband the wine of which they gave to her they say show me your husband she just carried the drink to go show the man now they she just fall back for in front of the husband it was it seems funny at first but by the time people noticed that this lady no be joke or they had to rush her thankfully to god she was saved because i don't know what happened i don't know what was the plan of the devil but the lady was saved and another story that i actually want to tell you is about a lady you know most times i believe in secrecy guys i believe in silence do your things in silence until the d day that is when everybody will be surprised nobody you won't buy car uh, on monday you start from this week and uh, tuesday they shout everybody i want to buy a new car by next week gonna go see me with benz and all those things people nobody everybody when they smile with you be your friend guys i believe in secrecy when you want to do something quietly do your thing make person just shock see ah, ah this lady be don't marry there was a lady that wanted to marry and she started shouting all over the world as if she's the first person to get married i am getting married though i am getting married my dear on their way to their uh to the village for the old marriage stuff the day she was supposed to do the wedding she had to travel very early in the morning after coming back to get some things she went to the um venue on a wet day she just 
instantly the husband was saved all right thank you so much for staying up with me i really appreciate your time please click on the bell subscribe like and comment on this video do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever i drop a new update you'll be the first to see thank you guys once again and stay tuned for our next update